<laughs> I know, so much gray, right? Okay, so um, <clears throat> apparently the big talk this week is about the Jupiter-Uranus-Venus-Sun conjunction uh, that's promising all sorts of uh, winds and windfalls and lucky breaks. Um, so just to keep expectations like a little more reasonable, because um, I'm getting kind of pulled into it as well, because it involves my Jupiter. Um, let's talk about Taurus uh, and how Taurus operates and what, what might be a better way to use this energy moving forward. So the first thing, um, if you're waiting for like a big bag of money to land in your lap or a windfall or a winning lottery ticket or like the Willy Wonka golden ticket, it could happen. But then again, maybe not. That doesn't mean that you're going to miss out. So consider this. Taurus uh, is symbolic and represents the builder, the farmer, the person who works with raw substances and brings something into existence with it, right? They build foundations. Um, they work with raw materials. Farmers work with seeds and soil and rain, sunshine, raw material, and from that, they give us bounty and food and sustenance. <clears throat> if you're a carpenter, you know, which is very Virgo Taurus, um, you're working again with raw material, pieces of wood, you know, uh, and putting them together to create houses, entire structures with. So, you know, the thing about it, though, is as a builder, you know, one of the things that you know, and, and or a farmer, one of the things that you know is that in order for you to build something substantial and solid you also have to start with good really good raw material if you start with faulty material from the beginning whatever you build is not going to last or or be that um sturdy right won't be worth the time and effort you put in actually building things it'll fall apart just as quickly as it's built and we also know that these things take time right rome wasn't built in a day neither was your house <clears throat> plants take at least an entire growing cycle uh, before they they can come to fruition and be harvested. So that is the nature of Taurus. It is slow. It is deliberate. It is thorough. And it's very much about utilizing raw materials to build or create something with. And what you build or create has everything to do with the quality of the raw materials you start with and the commitment and dedication and consistency that you approach your project with, right? So things made in haste tend to go to waste. So with this Venus, Uranus, Jupiter, even though Uranus is very exciting, you know, it is the lightning strike. Um, and it can reveal opportunities and certainly truths and truisms that we weren't aware of before. Uh, it'll, it is the stress test. It'll show you where the problems are. Um, Venus belongs in the sign of Taurus. It loves being near us at home. And Venus in Taurus is very much about beauty and pleasure and sensual comforts and the things that make life worth living, right? Because nobody lives a life just for the purpose of suffering. That's not why we're here. <clears throat> and of course, Jupiter in Taurus promises us lots of abundance, you know, and lucky breaks and protection. And the sun there just kind of like blows it all up and really illuminates those things. So it's it's normal and it's it totally appropriate to expect the biggest and the best of amazing magical opportunities right now. But maybe while we're waiting for that Willy Wonka golden ticket, you know, um, or that winning lottery ticket, maybe a better use of this time would be to recognize the small, subtle opportunities that are around us and start planting seeds for a future we want to live in. So this is a great time to kind of dig in and, and establish yourself and, and point yourself, turn yourself in the right direction. Okay, with your efforts um, and the things that you initiate and, and, you know, all these good things right now, especially this week, um, to launch things that will take time to build, uh, but will also stand the test of time, right? Uh, and it's also a really, really good time to plant seeds, plant big magical seeds who could potentially return much, much more surprising and amazing things than even you plant for. So that's what we have, I'm just saying, that's what we have on tap with this particular planetary alignment in Taurus coming up, especially with Uranus there. Uranus and Jupiter, which, you know, uh, we haven't seen in a long, 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 long time. And we're probably not going to see for a very long, long time again. 
So for those of you who have planets in Taurus or in any of the fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, you may be feeling this more personally or directly. But this isn't to say that everybody else is not feeling it. It is to say that this is a great time to plant your seeds, you know, and uh, what is it? Pick your direction and wagon ho, my friends, wagon ho. So if you don't get a big winning lottery ticket you're under this transit coming up this week and you don't have, you know, the big Willy Wonka golden ticket of opportunity landing in your lap, that's obvious, right? Don't despair. Oh, it's there. It's there. But it's Taurus. So these are these are building materials. These are raw materials you build with. So consider as you're moving through the week, the raw materials in your life that you have to work with, talents, strengths, skills, education, information, right? Connections, resources. What raw materials do you have to build with that you can utilize and maybe reorganize right now uh, into a, a better way to make them useful? Because what you end up with when all of this is over and things start growing from the seeds you planted may turn out to be a lot bigger and more amazing than you had planned on. Okay. So don't be afraid to take a risk. You know, listen to listen to your gut, listen to your gut, and think about the future that you want to live and the things that you want in your life and be prepared, you know, to, to dig in and, and commit to the long haul in terms of turning the ship around. The other thing I just want to say is Uranus is also the planet of separations. So, <clears throat> and they talk about this a lot in some of the mental health videos and the, the metaphysical videos. So one of the things... Um, you know, with moving forward in your life. Sometimes it's a matter of recognizing uh, the things that are comfortable and familiar, which is very Taurus, um, but need to go because they're toxic and they're not healthy, right, ultimately. Um, so cleaving ourselves from situations that are toxic or, or just not helping, you know, these enablers in our life, um, that's very Uranian. So you may find yourself this week having to make some hard choices about what you're doing to move forward and you may have to sacrifice some situations or people or relationships that have been hanging around way too long okay so that you can make some progress and forward motion in your life especially if these are things that have been like entrenched for a very long time Taurus um, so in order to break free and to move forward and make progress Uranus you might have to separate from some stuff which is very Jupiter Uranus so ask yourself where do you want to be and how are you going to get there and what raw materials do you have to work with to make this happen? And what do you have to do? Think about making a garden, right? You know, what do you have to do? What do you have to get rid of and, and shake out of the soil to make that soil easier to plant things in and actually sustain growth? So there you go, folks. Talk to you soon.